It is time to reflect, learn and implement change. Those are the words of Azim Rafiq today after a series of charges were proved against five out of six ex-Yorkshire players following a hearing into racism. A warning, the following content contains a subject matter that viewers may find offensive and distressing. Live to James Cole at Headingley. Uh, James, uh, Michael Vaughan was cleared of using racist language when he was a player at Yorkshire. Tell us about that. Yeah, Michael Vaughan, the spotlight of this whole case really was shone on Michael Vaughan because he is the most high profile of the individuals charged and because he was the only individual charged who attended the cricket discipline uh, hearings in London early this month. The panel found uh, that on the balance of probabilities, which is the standard of truth used in civil hearings, that uh, Vaughan's, uh, the allegation against Vaughan was not proved. Now, that allegation specifically uh, was that during a huddle ahead of a game against Nottinghamshire in 2009, when Michael Vaughan was captain, uh, Azim Rafiq had alleged Vaughan had turned to Rafiq and three other Asian Yorkshire teammates and said, there's too many of you lot, we need to have a word about that. Vaughan denied that, uh, he's denied it for the last 16 months vehemently. He attended those hearings at the start of the month with a uh, strong legal team and he defended himself there as well. And today the panel has ruled in his favour. Now, the panel said that they were not satisfied on the balance of probabilities that the words were said by Vaughan at the time and in the specific circumstances alleged. They point to inconsistencies uh, in the uh, accounts by Rafiq and also Adil Rashid, the England spinner, who corroborated Rafiq's claims and appeared at the hearings earlier this month. The panel goes on. It says it added its findings do not in any way undermine the wider assertions made by Rafiq, uh, who said that English cricket is institutionally racist. So they're not undermining the allegation made by Rafiq that cricket is institutionally racist or that racism occurred here at Yorkshire. And they stress that they are not saying that Rafiq is lying. Uh, they say this is not a case which necessitated a conclusion of the panel that anyone has lied or acted out of malice. Rather, they misheard or misunderstood what happened uh, in that huddle back in 2009. But Michael Vaughan's charges against him not proved by the Cricket Discipline Commission panel today. And James, talk us through the outcome of the charges against the other five people involved in this case. Yes, as I said, the, the focus was on Michael Vaughan, but there were five other former Yorkshire uh, players who denied the charges against him. They didn't appear at the hearings, which meant that their witness statements uh, took less weight. Uh, first of all, I'll start with Matthew Hoggard. He was charged on four counts uh, of using racist and or discriminatory language. Three out of the four were proved. Uh, it was proved that he used a racist nickname for Rafiq while at Yorkshire. It was proved that he used a racist slur while at Yorkshire. It was not proved that he'd used the term you lot to describe Asian players, uh, but it was proved that he'd used a racial term to describe Ismail Darwood, a former Yorkshire player back in 2004-2005. In terms of Tim Bresnan, one out of three charges against him were proved, uh, specifically that he used a racial slur to describe Azim Rafiq's sister uh, back in 2014. The other two were not proved, uh, that was that he used the term brothers or the brothers uh, to describe a group of Asian players and again the, use the term you lot. That was not proved. Uh, in terms of Andrew Gale, the former Yorkshire coach, uh, both of the charges against him were proved. Proved, I should say, that is that he used a racist nickname to describe Rafiq as well and also that he used a racist slur on numerous occasions between 2009 and 2013. Former bowling coach Richard Pyra, one out of his two charges were proved and that was that he used a racial slur to describe uh, Asian women, including Rafiq's sister. And finally, John Blaine, who was the second team coach and a former bowler uh, here at Yorkshire and also uh, with Scotland, uh, it was proved that he used a racial slur twice, once at Headingley in 2010 and also with Scotland in Nairobi in 2007. As I say, these individuals have all denied the charges because they weren't at the hearings, less weight was given to that denial. They now have until April the 14th to appeal. And what about Azim Rafiq and Yorkshire? Have, have they said anything? Yeah, Rafiq has spoken. Uh, we will be speaking to Rafiq later today as well, but he's put out a statement in the meantime. Remember, the whole 
case evolves around his allegations. His allegations blew apart uh, the racism, exposed the racism uh, that was occurring here historically at Yorkshire Cricket Club and set this ball rolling. This is the end of the ECB's disciplinary processes, but it's not the end of the issue by any means. And Rafiq has said this, charges against seven of the eight defendants, including the widespread use of a racial slur, have been upheld by the CDC today. This comes in addition to other reports, panels and inquiries that found I and others suffered racial harassment and bullying whilst at Yorkshire. The issue was never about individuals, but as the game as a whole, cricket needs to understand the extent of its problems and address them. Hopefully the structures of the game can now be rebuilt and institutionalised racism ended for good. It's time to reflect, learn and implement change. So Rafiq stressing there, this was never about individuals, this was never about Michael Vaughan. It was about getting rid of institutional racism, both in society and in cricket. James, for now, thank you.